Yeah, jump off lives. I get the encore off. Ooh, okay. Good thing I, uh, <laughs> good thing I lived. That could have been bad. Wow. What's up? We're hopping right back into the GC. I just lost that game from the end of the last video, but we are now two and one. Um, I did lose to Air Balloon Glamora, which I failed to read. <laughs> But yeah, uh, like I mentioned, I'm at Portland, so I'm actually recording these all the day that I'm leaving for Portland. And this is pretty interesting. No sun, at least no manu or no automatic sun. Um, and I do have Covert Cloak on my jump bluff. I think I'm just going to lead off with the jump bluff stuff. And that should be fine. In the back, they're actually relatively weak to these dudes. Yeah, they really don't like these dudes. I could also go with you. Now nah, I get more value out of that. Okay. Ooh, I also still have to submit my team sheet before I leave. I just remembered, team sheets are due Friday night. Valiant, are you gonna be booster? I'd imagine you would you wouldn't run Valiant if it wasn't booster. Why does my game feel like it's lagging? Alright, uh let's see. So last time I played, I called out the um <laughs> I called out the uh the Terra on the Chi Yu. This time I'm not quite willing to make that play, so I am just gonna sleep powder Chi Yu. Um, and I am going to go for the overheat. I'm not willing to make that call again. There's safety goggles. No, I just miss. Okay, great. That's not great. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I should at the very least get a really strong overheat off, and then I get in my scarf mons. It's also life orb. Yeah, resisted. Don't even get the overheat off is the funny thing. Here I'm just gonna go into Tusk. I just want to pick up KOs, man. The Rock Slide should KO this Chi Yu from this range, and I'm also just going to go ahead and Terra Dazzling Gleam, um, because that should allow me to also pick up a KO on basically anything that wants to switch in. The reason I'm going for this Rock Slide is because I'm concerned that they're going to be, like, Sash on the, um... I'm concerned they're going to be Sash on the Iron Valley, unless I failed to read another Booster Energy, which I don't think I did. I don't think I failed to read that. It gets that? Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. It gets that. I, I didn't know it got that. Wow. You know, I kind of kind of wish I had long. I'm kind of stuck here. Like, I'm, I'm scarfing specs. Oh, by the way, I, I need to say this again, guys. Since this is, like, a little bit more of a serious, like, thing, um, I am more prone to getting a little bit upset with some bad luck. Just want to let you guys know ahead of time. Uh, also, I lost right there. All right. Yeah, there's no coming back from that. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, you know, turn one sleep powder miss into not knowing that this thing got wide guard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Sash, so I still stand by my play. I just didn't know it had that move, which is, you know, it's just a thing with best of one. You're like, you're never going to know.
Look, as long as I can keep a 2 to 1 win ratio in each one of these sessions, we'll be fine. So right now, I'm 2 and 2. So if I win my next 2, you know, net positive, just barely. Alright, um, looks like it's sand. Let's go ahead and lead off with... I actually really like this lead. Um, just jump bluff still. And Torkoal. Because since I'm Covert Cloak, if they don't end up leading off with the Tyranitar, if they end up bringing it in the back and trying to reset sand, I'll be fine. Alternatively, I could lead off with Jumpluff and Flutter. Actually, I can just go Jumpluff and this guy, and that'll be fine. And then bring Flutter in the back. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I think my opponent... This looks like the type of team that you would run if you kind of know what you're doing. So I would imagine my opponent isn't going to lead off with Sand, knowing that I want to lead off with Torkoal. So if I get Torkoal in second, I still get my, my Sun up. Okay, I think they timed out. So they are going to lead off with Tyranitar. And I could have just let off with the Torkoal. That's great. <laughs> Pretty sure they just timed out. Oh, they didn't time out. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make a prediction here and say that they're probably going to be goggles on goggles or lum on the um, Gyarados. I'm going to go for the sleep powder and swap in my Torkoal. I could tear a water um, and then just make sure I like never drop and like never get flinched because my covert cloak and my no longer being weak to rock moves, but I don't want to burn a Terra for something like that. Hopefully, Tor uh, hopefully this Gyarados just stays in. Hopefully it like Dragon Dances and I can Encore it. Oh, great. Okay, it's Annihilate. It's going to be, yeah, Vital Spirit. Taunt. That's not great. Don't really have a move to hit it now. Uh, let's go ahead and just go right into Flutter. And I'm going to smack him with an Overheat. So as long as this overheat goes off without a hitch, I'm good. They drain punch me, don't take too much. Nice little chunk of damage. And I can go into my tusk. Alternatively, I could go into Jump Off and Encore him into Drain Punch, and that actually be a little bit higher reward and require less of a call out. 
Um, I think I go jump buff here just to threaten. Now I'm going to go Tusk. And I do think this is where I Terra to prevent getting KO'd, and I go for the Encore. Because I think what they want to do is probably go for a Terra Fire. Or a Terra Steel. Basically whatever prevents them from getting KO'd this turn. They could also go for a Terra flying on the Tyranitar. That's the only Terra I really expect out of that. But this covers my bases pretty well. And if they want to protect here, that actually like covers my bases even better. Because then they know the Encore is coming, so I just don't click it again. Alright. Nice, they do Terra Fire. And now everything is just Tusk food. Yes, they're going to get Encore. Okay, cool. Everything is just Tusk food. I can Tailwind and just go for Earthquake now with, like, no repercussions. But I think they just want to go into Gyarados, so my play is actually going to be to close combat into the uh, Tyranitar. Yeah, my play is going to be close combat into Tyranitar. Actually, I can actually just spam Rock Slide, to be honest. That's another option, but I think it's a little less safe. I want to make sure I pick up a KO here, so CC Tyranitar is the best. Close combat Tyranitar. I'm also going to get my Specs Fluttermane in here because I can go for a Thunderbolt onto the Gyarados this next turn. Oh, I swear if Gyarados comes in on that slot. Bro, what? Okay, that's not great. Um... Okay, I still have, like, a lot of options here, but they're not nearly as good as they were a second ago. Hopefully they Drain Punch into the Flutter. Okay. Alright, um, let me think. So I can close combat into the Annihilate. And go for a Thunderbolt into the Gyarados. They have one turn left of Encore. You know, I'm going to do that. I need to get rid of Gyarados. It's really annoying. And it also makes my uh, my endgame a lot better since nothing's weak. Nothing's immune to Earthquake. Basically, if I just get Sun up and uh, spam Earthquake, I start winning. All right, good damage. That's also probably in range of Thunderbolt. And I think I can take one Rain Punch. I hope. It's going to be close. Yeah, cool. So now everything's weak to uh, Earthquake. Just a matter of getting him on the field safely. So it's going to be about positioning from now on. Encore is over. He is still 
probably like gonna drop to a double up though, so I could just do it again. But then I like lose to Lycanroc is the issue. Yeah, there's the rock. I have to break that sash. Let's do this. Let's go Cole here. And I'm actually gonna stay in and go for a Thunderbolt on you. Because I think they just want to protect Rock Slide, probably. I think they want that recovery, yeah. And if my Torkoal can survive this turn, I can go back out into Jump Pluff and make sure that I always get Sun up after T-Tar hits the field. Because then Earthquake just wins every time. Right, they are faster. Keep my Torkoal. This might one-shot and then I always win. They're not Sash, yeah. Okay, I think I always win now. As long as Torkoal stays alive. Yeah, that should be game. So if I get in Jump Luff here... What happens? No, I just always get in Tusk. Helping hand my Earthquake. And then I win. I don't need the Sun. Actually, is there a point in helping handing my Earthquake? I don't think so. No, I'm going to protect this first turn. And just Earthquake, yeah. Maybe I do Helping Hand. You know, I am going to Helping Hand, because, like, you know, if, if I Protect... Because I'm not going to KO Tyranitar this turn, right, without the Helping Hand. And if I if I Protect there and they KO my Tusk, I, like, lose anyways. So I just go for it. No Protect, please. Alright, cool. So that means I get rid of the actual thing that scares me, which is literally just the Annihilate. And that should be game. Because I just Encore that into Protect and Spam Earthquake. Sorry, I was checking out something. Wait, I could totally lose. <laughs> just dawned on me that I'm Scarf and my Jump Pluff's no longer immune to ground moves. But I think I just still go for the Encore. Because I think I can take one Earthquake. Yeah, Jump Off lives. I get the Encore off. Ooh, okay. Good thing I, uh... <laughs> good thing I lived. That could have been bad. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Holy. Whoa there, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's go for the Leaf Storm. I'm pretty sure they just forfeit here because they know that, like, you know, they have three turns of Encore. Okay. All right.
That could have been so bad. They get the double protect, okay. It doesn't matter, because at some point they're going to stop protecting. I don't know why they haven't forfeited. Maybe they... I don't know. Encore ended. Cool. So are you going to go for a third, or...? Watch them have, like, quick attack. I don't, I don't think it gets that, but... <laughs> Just imagine, like, Tyranitar got Sucker Punch and no one noticed and just went for it. I mean, the Iron Valiant has Wide Guard. Like, moves will catch me off guard. I don't care how long I've been playing this game. Moves will always catch me off guard. That's just how the game works. Alright, one more for today. It was a long game, though. battling like I said if I go two and one I'll eventually have like a decent record oh that's a really low rating if I lose to this person I what what is that I don't even want to doesn't this thing get chlorophyll I don't even want to get my son up it gets chlorophyll I don't even want to get the sun up man all right um I mean, we haven't used these guys yet. But honestly, I get so much more value out of, like, late game. Let's do this. Let's do this. And there's probably no need for Torkoal here, if we're being real. It's full hyper offense, yeah. Big boy click move, you, you drop. Versus this lead, I will uh, do this. Go for Terra Flying and Ice Spinner into the Sylveon as well as an Earthquake. I should probably take advantage of this lead more often. I don't, I don't use it nearly enough. your Terra. Watch it be like flying and I one shot. Fairy, okay, cool. I don't know, maybe like Choice Ban, Terra Fairy, Quick Attack, one shot's Great Tusk, for all I know. Play rough, a little miss. Great Tusk avoids the goat. I love his little tufts of fur by his feet. I, I just noticed those. Those are kind of cute. He is a he is a very hairy little elephant. There's Lucario. Um, I think we're fine. I'm focus sash, so my play is just. Earthquake again, and in case they're Focus Sash, let's do this. Not Focus Sash, so Doxman will drop here. I don't think Muck's eating this. Hit him with a little haze. Sure. I don't know. 
I, I mean, it's it's definitely not Focus Sash, so might as well. All right. So uh, that's going to be it for uh, the second, not second day, but like the second video of the GC. The rest of these are probably going to be recorded in the hotel room. Um, it's going to be a little messy. I might not even record any more of these. Uh, but we'll see. I wanted to give you guys some content for the GC, you know, regardless of how well I do. I like recording a little bit of it. So yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. And I should, today, this one's going up on Saturday. So day one of Portland is probably wrapping up in a couple of hours. So make sure you check out the stream. So yeah, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.